everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Complete Set Review Series. Today we're talking about M13. M13, not 12. No, every single card in Magic 2013. That's a lot of them. That's a ton of cards. Yeah. But you know what? A lot of people worked on this set. A lot of people are very proud of it. And you know what? I think they deserve to have all of their cards talked about. Slow we clap. should not get... Yet. Don't slow clap okay, me. I'm sorry. Don't ever slow clap me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Anyway, so we're going to get started today with the Johnny Caller of the Pride. Now, I made a yes. whole show about this guy, so you guys are very well aware of how I think about it. What do yes. you think about it? Well, so I actually played with this card in a playtest video with Jerry. Mm -hmm. And it's a very good magic card, but Ajani did teach me an important life lesson. What's that? To have pride. Oh, I saw what you did there. Pause up, little monsters. Well, look, you, this ultimate is the kitty cat parade. It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just what I imagine things happening. But what? Basically, you know, when I was given this card, yeah. I freaked out, and as usual, and um, uh, I made the show about it, and I had called. I, I had hyped it at the time as the best spoiler I've ever gotten. Now I was given sort of feast and famine for mirrored and besieged. Yes. And. Uh, I think the reason that that card was perceived as better is because Stoneforge Mystic existed. If Stoneforge Mystic yeah. did not exist, it would still be a good card. But I still think Ajani was probably better, just on a raw card versus card, oh. not interactions. The biggest problem I have with just saying that is like Feast and Famine did let any color untap mana. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the big reason Cobbler is good, is it let a blue control deck untap. It's a terrific card, don't get me wrong. Why are we talking about Sword of Feast and Pan? Because it was being judged versus a Johnny. Who cares? Let's what? talk about a Johnny. All right, so what I love about a Johnny, and, and they had mentioned this on SCG Live with Adrian and Patrick Chapin at one time, was that if it's three mana with four loyalty and has a plus one. And the plus one, I think at the time they said, you know, it could be stand up, turn around, and yeah. sit down, and it would still have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the reason that Ajani is like just really good, yeah. like the best part about Ajani is that it only works well with creature decks. Mm. So having four loyalty going up to five, and because you're going to just want to play this with a bunch of one and two drops, means. Mm -hmm. It's going to live. Like it's it's very difficult to actually kill this card, mm. and to take the time to kill it means that you're not worried about the creatures that are in play. Right. So if you do that, you're dead. And <laughs> if you worry about the creatures, this card is going to also allow you to turn the bad creatures you draw, like your Doom Travelers and your your Tappers and all these things, into actual threats. So when it's like with a um, a Champion of the Parish. Mm -hmm. They're not going to just be able to kill your good creature and let the bad ones hit you for a while. Like it's going to just make them better. So and I just love this guy in in a white weenie like an aggressive deck. He just oh, like absolutely. fits perfectly. I mean, we're going to talk about Sublime Archangel later, but like the, the way that he works with Exalted, giving mm -hmm. them double strike and all the Exalted bonuses just seems just completely. Oh yeah, ridiculous. like his his jump ability is just like the the kill you <sighs> kill you ability. Yeah. I guess I'm mostly concerned with just making sure this card does something when it's not just winning the game. And I think it's there. Like, he's I like, awesome. I like just waiting the game with it. And then, and then his ultimate to make a big old parade. Kitty cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Johnny Sunstriker, he has a Sunstriker. I don't know if you knew this. What's a Sunstriker? Uh, apparently it's a lifelink duder guy. He just has the, he's the lifelink bear. I, <laughs> lifelink kitty. <laughs> what do you want from me? I like good, efficient guys. Knight of Metagrain was probably a little much to have yes. first strike and lifelink. Yep. I mean, that guy was very much constructed playable for his entire lifespan. Oh, yeah. And this card is not quite as good, but is, you know, solid. I like it in Limited just for the fact that it has lifelink mm. and with Exalted. So it's just like this cute ability to, like, your 2-2 two -two can come into play, attack for 3 on turn 3, and, like, you just start this chain of lifelink. Mm -hmm. And you hit hard in this set, so, you know. You but And if, what happens if you have 7 Exalted creatures in play with him? When he hits? No, 5. Sorry, 5. I was trying to set like it up. I missed five and the two, the Wait, seven. You got seven. He's going to hit for nine. Five. He's going to hit for seven. Yeah. And that's the same amount of life you gain with the next Angel's Mercy. Yeah, you thought we did uh, with uh, this I kind of screwed it up, but got we're there. clever. We're no, we're not. Angel's Mercy <laughs> is four mana gain seven. We've discussed this before. I think this was an Avacyn restore, right? Yes. Okay, so they just ported it over. So I have a quiz for you. People like life gain cards. Can you think of a single card that has been printed back to back sets? Angel's Mercy. Is that it? I'm sure there's been others. Maybe Naturalize? I don't know. I'm well, just curious. Well, back to back. Um, 
Yeah, just back-to-back -back sets. I don't know, man. They, they like to switch things up. Yeah. I think it's actually a pretty rare occurrence. I'm sure, mm -hmm. you know, of course, the Internet is immediately going to tell us, like, the 800 cards that have been printed back-to-back. <laughs> -back, but whatever. <laughs> Angel's Mercy exists. We're going to move on. Yeah. What I was wanting to move on to was Angelic Benediction, which mm -hmm. in, in uh, association with the Sunstriker gives it, makes it a 3-3 and taps whatever was going to kill it. Yeah, and... The first time I saw this card in the set, I was like, eh, I mean, it was fine the last set, but white has a lot of flyers, and you just kill people that way, so, like, mm -hmm. tapping their guys probably isn't that big. But then I remembered that Sarah Spider exists, and it's a big old 4-4 four, four for 5, and it, like, blocks all your flyers. It's got so like, vigilance, too. Yeah, it's, it's a monster. I had it in the pre-release. It was insane. The card's nuts. Yeah, but, like, just tapping down spiders. Like, this card is going to be used to tap down so many spiders. I love this card. I'm so happy to see it back. Yeah. The card was sweet in Alara and is good here. Yeah, Exalted Trigger, just uh, good on his own. So, Attended Knight is, for sure, going in every common cube that exists. Oh, yeah. The card is just value. Like, yeah. I love it. I love the idea of paying, you know, mana to get a guy plus another guy. I mean, three mana for three power over two bodies and two power mm -hmm. of his first strike. I mean, like... And it works with Exalted really well, so, like, one of your guys might die to, like, a Doomblade. You get two of them, so you don't have to, like, throw your Exalted guys in the way and just, mm -hmm. like, keep hitting, and he's good on the back foot. Like, just having the first... The first strike's not that big if they're Exalting you and green creatures are big. But just having two, like, three two power. bodies, right? Yeah. Out of and, three mana. And three mana for, for uh, three power is always good. Yeah. Plus, with it, two, two bodies, like, this card's good. This card is sweet. I like it. So, Avon Squire has returned from Alara. It has. Card was awesome in Alara. I mean, it's a two power flyer for two mana. Yeah. You can't really beat that. No. And, and in, in multiples, it hits for a ton, and you can block yeah. with them. Like, there's a lot of, like, one toughness creatures. That you can block with. I hearken back to the day where I got like three or four of these in draft, man. It was sweet. And you also got Squires too, though. Oh, man, the Avon Squire. Why didn't you give that to us? Or no, the, what was the Akrazon Squire? Uh, yeah, I, I, I wasn't going to try to pronounce it because I was just going to butcher it. <laughs> it's coming up. Um, but Battleflight Eagle is the uh, reprint of Welkin Guide. Welkin Guide, but now has to be an eagle with stuff on no, it. No, I, I don't even... Back. I, like, I saw it, and I saw, like, why did they just make a functional reprint of it? Right. I was like, oh, they just don't want any Welkins in the set. And then I go through the spoiler more, and I see Welkin turn, and I was like, what's Wizards got against white Welkins? Apparently, you can be a bird, but you can't be a bird cleric in the core set, because that's what the Welkin guy is. Yeah. All right, sure. I, I don't get it. Card's value, though. I love, yeah. I love the card. Oh, I, I like the design of a flyer that gives something else flying for the turn. And, like, you think of the flavor, it's like, just swoops down, picks up a knight, like, <laughs> just throws a match sweet, big, huge bird. Yeah, with Exalted, like, it comes in, it's like pseudo-haste, it, like, Shut gives up. an Exalted hit. Like, this guy ends games. Can right? I make a never-ending story Falcor reference right here, or is that, am I just old? No, yeah, you're old, but let's hear it. You can educate it's me. Friggin', it's like, fa you've seen the never-ending story, right? No. Oh, my God, we're moving on. <laughs> Captain of the Watch. Is awesome. I love this card when it was printed in M10. I thought it was just one of the coolest, most flavorful mm -hmm. things. And I was I actually thought because of the insane amount of power and value that you get out of it, I was like, man, this card's like maybe constructed playable. And then the yeah. Titans were like, nope. No. <laughs> yeah. uh, I definitely think this is where I want my six drops to be in Magic. I don't want Titans. I want these kind of effects. Yeah, like big fun. It, yeah, big fun. Nine power. It's a ton. Uh, there's a lot of come into play abilities on other creatures in this set, so it like works mm -hmm. really well with like some of the other cards, like the two three that like whenever a creature comes to play, it gets plus one plus one. Oh yeah, or there's ones that gains two life, which I yeah. think is really pushed. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, I mean the the idea of that, yeah, it's weird that right around visions they were like, you know, we should really sort of like put spells on creatures mm -hmm. when they enter the battlefield, and now it's just like. Every, Every frigging one. creature has something that's happening yeah. when the creature enters the battlefield. But if they're like Captain of the Watch, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy that it's Captain and it isn't something ridiculous. And like, this card is, you can deal with it, but it's still like a ton of power, like nine power for it on its own. And Man. I mean, we have Restoration Angel and. Oh, Restoration Angel is so yeah. sick. I think this card will see some play. I actually do. Really? This go around? Uh, in three months. In three months when the Titans go away, and you're looking for something that provides a bunch of value. So Geist Iron Monk, you feel, is not... Like, you would rather play this versus Geist Iron Monk? Maybe. I mean, it depends on if the flying's relevant. Isn't it always relevant? Okay, fine. That's what I thought. Captain's Call. Three white dudes. Seriously. My goal's accomplished. I can quit magic now. That's, I just wanted to be a part of a three white dudes with you ever since I was a big fan. I'm, I'm, I'm done. 
the actual phrase My was looks. three dudes seriously, but we don't talk about it. It was three dudes seriously? Yeah, I thought it was three white dudes. Mm -hmm. I, and I ruined Next it. Next time, I ruined <laughs> they'll make another one that makes three white. No, they won't. No, they won't. You missed it. Captain's Call makes three duder guys. Yep. I like it. it. It's fine. I think there's like a lot better things you can do in Unlimited, and I don't think it's, it's just a little bit too slow for Constructed. Like, they don't fly, and it costs four mana. Well, Midnight Haunting, you know, basically sort of uh, snug up on R&D, as I understand mm -hmm. it, in terms of playability. Um, and that was th three mana for two 1-1 one, one flyers, but this is four mana for three not flyers. And so yeah. no evasion, mana cost is more than the power and toughness that you get. Yeah, and, and you, you put this up against other four drops, like it would have to compete with like Huntmaster and... <laughs> Yeah, so like the, the card's not play constructed, but it's fine and limited. Well, it also works well with Crusader of Audric, you know, and also yes. works well with Audric himself, in that you know there is a theme of like make a bunch of guys so that you can sort of control combat or make this guy crazy huge. Is yeah. this guy decent and limited? I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, he, he it gets might blown be. out, doesn't he? I mean, it's it's like a green creature. Like I think this card would be good against green decks, hmm. just because the boards get really littered and you just want like the biggest creature on the board. You want to fight fight fire with fire. Sure. So I think it's like good against them because they're not going to be killing yourself. Hmm. But I think it's slow. I mean, it depends on how many token producers I have and like maybe. I, 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 I mean, it's exciting to have a three mana seven seven. But when they blow you out, you know, kill this, unsummon that. You know, or just never be able to actually get into play and do anything. Like it just it's a one one on its own and yeah, it's pretty I mean, it's, it's probably topic. fine. I don't think I'm gonna wanna like first pick it or like take it early. Yeah. But I think you play it more often than not. That's fair. So Divine Favor is you know, it's their way of, you know, you got to make enchantments not just blow outable. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't just lose when you play it. Um, because you know, you're going to play it, and they're going to bounce your guy or whatever, and then you're going to be out. But if it gives you a bonus, they try to entice you to play it. Oh, yeah. And, like, I actually like Divine Favor because I think it's one of the highest win percentage cards that I ever play. Because when I board it in, it does exactly what I need it to do. Like, you play against an aggressive deck that doesn't have a lot of removal and they're just trying to burn you out real quick hmm. with a bunch of guys and removal, so they use it all quick to get the damage in. Mm -hmm. And then you play it, and now you have this, like, brick wall that gave you three life. Hmm. So, like, I love this as a cyborg card against, like, red-green aggro decks or red-white, and, like, they're not flying much, and mm -hmm. they're just all in on the first 20 damage. Huh. And yeah. then you get to 23, and they can't do it. Yeah, especially because you have this big old wall. So I like the card. Guilty. Guilty. Yeah. Divine verdict. <laughs> Guilty. Yeah, like, the flavor text is getting so good in this game. I don't it even know. It really is. Who, who was doing it? Wizards, I want to know. Like, did they, is there a change, you know, the guard? Because, like, it is so good now. It has been getting really, really terrific. There's yeah. the wit's end, which we'll get when we get to black, is just unreal. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Divine Verdict as a, uh, I try not to use this in core set, in set reviews period, but bread and butter, it is a bread and butter magic card. Yes, it and is the core set goodness, and it is the best version of them. I I really don't like the ones that just destroy, destroy attackers or remove attackers from the game. Hmm. Uh, I definitely like being able to use it on the offensive too, mm -hmm. especially with trample like Rancor. Oh, like man. it's so I did that so many times at the at the pre-release. Like oh my god, put a Rancor on my guy, attack. They like figure out damage, they block, I kill it and to kill them. And I, I definitely like these effects being able to be offensive and defense. So right, this is great. I I like the card. The card is sweet. A race, I love a race. Like, do you? Yeah, because the way that Zach was, um, Zach Hill wrote an article on Daily MTG, um, and Zach did the lead development for the set, and he was explaining how there's just a lot of enchantments that you want to be able to get rid of, you know, mm -hmm. Rancor and Oblivion Ring, whatever. Oh, yeah, that makes um, sense. And so this also exiles them, not mm -hmm. just like when it enters the battlefield or you whatever. You get rid of Rancor. Yeah, exactly. So Rancor can go away forever. And it wins best art of the set, honestly. It's like fantastic artwork. Like, I... I I could see myself wanting to put this up on my wall. Like, I think this art is just beautiful. I would love to have a big, huge poster version of this. It would yeah. be pretty cool. I want the t-shirt. I want that <laughs> castle, actually. I want the t-shirt. <laughs> you know, they gave me this in channel removal, and all I got was this crappy t-shirt. Um, face reward is like, man, you wanted a second sunrise, <clears throat> and they gave you a second freaking sunrise. Yes. All upside, just you, and we'll probably do the exact same thing, which was not much. 
Yeah, I think the only thing that this is rewarding is the faith that people have that this card will work. Like, so it'll work like one time for them, and they'll be like, everyone just. wants it to work. The Christmas, the magical Christmas scenarios for this card are endless. Like, oh, yeah. they wrath your board, they kill your planeswalker, and then EOT. Oops. And like, all these come into play effects, and yeah. you just like sack your whole board to your. Do the stuff. Wee. And at the end of the day, you have like this in your opening hand, and you feel terrible about it. Yeah, or like you tap off or something, and they wrath, and you're like, well, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you're like, huge fatty bomb, and they're like, wrath, and you're like, but face rewards right here. Sucky. All right, buddy. You have a glorious charge. Is there a glorious charge joke I need to be aware of? A glorious charge joke? No, like, you just see this, you see this card, and you're just like, the only thing I can think about is just, there are brave men at our gates. Let's go kill them. It's the first thing I thought when I saw this card. So what you're saying is that for a glorious charge, you're going to be paying the iron price. I'm going to be paying the iron price. Yeah, you are. Yes. Creatures get plus one, plus one. Yeah. <laughs> Griffin Protector. So this guy seems all value. Uh, I, I, I really actually like this card a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, attacking sweet. for three with a four drop is, like, really good. Plus, it's, like, got a decent defense. So, like, on the defense, it has three toughness, and on the offense, it has three power. Right. But it's not a three-three. And if you have something like Captain's Call or what have or you. Or Exalted. Or, yeah. Like, you just get crazy huge yeah, bonuses. You, you, you play an Exalted guy, it gets plus two, plus two from it. So, like, I just like that. And That's it's sweet. Yeah, it's just a really good, a really well-designed, like, magic card. I think for form, it's just a fair price. It's going to be good, but it's not busted. Right. Like, you're going to want to draft around this kind of card, mm -hmm. so it's fine. I like it. Guardian Lions. I think the art is amazing. And that's about all that's amazing about the what? card. You know what Guardian Lions can do? It cannot lie. Because it has... Go on. Go on. No, I'm not going to Come on! I'm not going to do it. All right, fine. It has a big butt. All right, I did it. I went there. <laughs> and as it has a large derriere, it can block actual infinite. That art is unreal. And it's a 1 6 vigilance. That it is really is. beautiful art. Guardians of Akraza. I like this guy when it first came out in Alara. I, I, I actually loved him. I played him a ton. But, like, his value. But it, it wasn't an all star. But now there's exalt. Like black creatures get exalted now. Somebody's got to get exalted. But he was so good against the black and green creatures. Now they just get rancor and exalted. Like he ain't gonna be blocking like he used to. Uh, he ain't gonna be guarding much. He's not gonna be guarding as much. It still wasn't like a first pick or anything. It was just like a good like you know utility card. Eighteenth yeah. card. You know, not twenty third. Not even the worst. Yeah. No. Nowhere near the worst. Just a good. All right. Solid duder. All well, right. the reason I'm on. mad is because I love playing with that card. I, I I do. It's just like one of the cards that are fun to play with because he's an attacker, but he's a blocker, so you feel like you're cute. And well, like, I mean, he's sweet because you play like Avon Squire, and then you play the Guardians, and then you're, you're just like for three, three, and then you block. Shot. Like, what's up? What's going on, guys? Healer of the Pride seems pushed to me. I was impressed. Yeah. It's, Two life, a guy? It's very good. I mean, it it's... Push, it's not going to probably see standard play. It's a format. Yeah, it's fine. But like in terms of just its pure design, particularly for limited, oh, I was yeah. like, two life, a guy? Really? Yeah, you just keep playing everything. Like every single, like if you're like racing in the air, you just get to like chump block with a guy. Like every guy you draw gains you like four or five life. Like Basically. I mean, geez. I mean, like, and also like sort of it's, it's very subtly uh, connected to a Johnny in terms of the life gain. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and it's healer of the pride and color mm, yeah. of the pride and all that stuff. But uh, on the right track, baby. Uh, 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 and what, what do you think he's thinking about, though? Like, look at the art. What do you What do you think he's just like contemplating? You know what? Like, uh, I think it's a she. She, sorry. <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, but uh, the uh, I, I think she's thinking about all the kitty cat things that just kitty cats think of. Like where hot milk? Where that catnip at, yo? <laughs> I got a party to go to. <laughs> <laughs> Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> All right, so Intrepid Hero is next. Um, an old school reprint has been printed oodles of times. Basically, is a limited only sort of all star, but it's hey, an all star. I've living wished for this card. Okay, I mean, I've 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 living wished for like big game hunters and stuff yeah. too. You know, like it's not out of the realm of possibility. Yeah. Oh no, I think this card will see a lot of play. Really? Well, it's a. Vasara that costs three mana. So if they kill it, that's fine, but it kills every creature. Like, every creature now is four bigger. Like, that's just true. Like, everything is huge. Like, back in the day, you played Beast. Like, you played a 4 4 on turn four, and that was like the biggest Whoa. creature in three turns. Yeah. Yeah. 
But but now like everything's huge. This I think this guy is very good. He's good, but he's just uh, some of the things he just doesn't. You do, do with you know that gut shot is rotating, right? Gut shot is rotating, which is nice. Yeah, I think I think in three months this guy is going to be awesome. The slips are still tragic, and the revenants are still lone. All right. Hex You'll proof. see. Hex proof. You will see. Okay. Knight of Glory. This guy is value. This guy is so sweet. <laughs> he's going in my cube because he's awesome. I mean, they, they are just showing that they are just like printing so much better cards than before. Just whatever. Like, just, white knight, black knight, whatever. Yeah, we'll just make way better copies of these cards. Creatures getting better. And the thing is that, like, as creatures get better, it's not making magic worse, you know? No, like, I mean, having creatures, having creatures be better makes this game better. Like, Basically. It, you, you, there's more pressure. The games feel better. You're not just sitting on a bunch of spells. Like, I would much rather die to a bunch of really good creatures, then my opponent should be like, counter that, cruel tomato mew, blah, 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 combo loop, yeah. yada, 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 kill you. And that's exactly the thinking of wizards, you know, at this point, mm -hmm. is that the spells, you know, you should you should be like smashing in with angels and knights yeah. and dragons and stuff and not like, well, I'm going to loop this thing and every time I do it, I get a mana and then mm -hmm. I'm going to run it through here so I can do one damage to yeah, you. Yeah, and... Oh, it's crap. Like, co combat wars are so much better than counter wars. Yeah. Like, I just, the math is better. Like, you're not just sitting there like, do I go off now, or does he, or like, am I going to try to resolve the spells? No, like, I'm attacking you. What it, are you going to do? It makes it a way better spectator sport, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, seeing time spiral combo is just miserable. Like, oh, so, like, and, you know, oh, he's going to high tide, and he's going to do the oh, thing, and now his lands tap for how much again? Like, yeah, what's like, the storm count? Like, what? I, I did commentary once, and, like, the guy started comboing off with high tide, and I instantly ignored the screen and just started telling the storm. Like, I don't care if anyone gets mad at me. I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's the storm count? How much man is he and stuff and stroke yeah, for whatever. It's and, boring. So here in Amsterdam, you know. But Night of Glory is, is amazing. awesome. Card is sweet. Yes, I exalted that early. It's like the biggest creature for cheap with exalted and, and pro black. I like. mean, I actually for constructed. I think that the pro white is going to be more important and in limited. I think pro white hmm. um, or pro black is going to be more important in limited mm -hmm. uh, than than pro white because everything flies and the black doesn't have any flyers. Sure. So this guy's just going to like brick wall them. Yeah. So especially like the black creatures, we'll get to them in a couple days, but they're aggressive. They are very so, like, this guy is just going to hold the fort. It has to, because they pushed black uh, in the aggressive department. Now, Oblivion Ring, and I agree with Zach Hill on this. I want Oblivion Ring or an Oblivion Ring type effect mm -hmm. in every core set that ever exists. Oh, yeah, this is just, this is a perfectly designed magic card. Ugh. Like, when it came out in Lorwyn, I was just like, oh, my God. It makes it's perfect. so much sense. It's just yeah. beautiful. It's just, par I mean, it's the way that white deals with things, like, mm -hmm. temporarily, but you can answer it. I mean, white hasn't answered anything. It just, like, the flavor is just and perfect. It's, and it's a beautiful answer to Planeswalkers, which, ever since they got printed in Lorwyn, you wanted an effect to make sure that... It's just a good, safe card to have all the time in case a Planeswalker gets overpowered. Yeah. You know, oops, we, we did something wrong. We have a bad Planeswalker. <laughs> well, we it. It, didn't, it didn't fix the one. Well, the one would not have been as good if it didn't have... As in, Chase the Mind Sculptor. The, what? The good one. Yeah. The, the, unbeatable the best one, one ever yes. printed. The best magic card, all. like, better than Would you than say all? it's better than all? Yeah, I was just yeah, going to go there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> better than all. Audric, Master Tactician, is sweet. I, I, wish, I wish I had a Sean Connery. Like, I could just, like, <laughs> impersonate him, but I can't. So I'm not, not going to do it. I was about come to on, do Evan, it. Come on, Evan, come on, come on. I, I, I'm not good enough at it. I can do, I cannot do Scottish accents. Oh, Scottish but, accents. but, yeah, but so. But Audric... As Sean Connery, I wish he was better just because we can say, you know, like, that's what his nickname is going to be. I attack <laughs> with Sean Connery. You know, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, he did I'm it. Just, what? I couldn't help it. <laughs> but you just, like, make everything SH. Um, but uh, as a card, it's just not, it's not Hero Blade Hold. You know? Oh, no, but not, we shouldn't. I don't think Hero Blade Hold should exist. That is actually a magic cre creature. It's such a feel bad. It's like, if I can't kill with it, I die. I feel good about it. Well, I'm not the one crashing in with it. <laughs> Make a bunch of guys. guys. Like, wait a minute, going to get my tokens. Wapow, yeah. Wapow. Like, I think that this card is a good cyborg card in Creature Mirrors hmm. because it gives you the alpha. I agree. So I, it might be a good cyborg card. And I really hope... 
that after rotation and Vapor Snake is gone and we got rid of Vapor Snake Snapcaster and we got rid of Jace the Mind Sculptor, that you're going to be able to play four drops that don't need a come to play or something ridiculous. I think Magic might be able to go back to that. But Snapcaster is going to be around for another year plus. But man. if it doesn't have the tempo advantage, like the body has to be relevant and because there's great tempo and you already deal like 12 damage with like a Delver Secrets or something, like you can actually get in with its body. Mm -hmm. But if you can't be down so aggressively, I mean, it, it makes you lose a life, but this whole idea of like creatures, you know, failing the vapor snag test is the most ridiculous crap I have ever heard. Why? It's unsummon. It's just unsummon. No, but it's, it's not like it's this different card that hasn't existed in Magic well, for 16 years. Okay. Like it's the same thing. I agree. An unsummon could be just as good, like not as good, but pretty close to. Okay. And you might still play unsummon um, Snapcaster decks after rotation. Mm -hmm. But if Delver, how it exists, isn't good enough, then on someone's not good enough because you need the boost and plus the two damage just to like get the last the last couple points in. I'm pretty sure it is good enough though. It might be, but I'm oh. saying if, if if that's still. <sighs> yeah, it's still good. Pacifism, I loved it. I remember when I first saw this card in Inquest. This was a special giveaway in Inquest mm -hmm. uh, for Mirage because Mirage was coming out and it had been, like Mirage came out after sort of like a drought and Magic it had been a long time since the set came out. And so like this was the, one of the cards that was like, oh man, Mirage is coming. Your really, rack felt warm and fuzzy. You're really old. What? When Pacifism came out? Like, yes, when Pacifism came out, it was like late 90s. I was listening to like grunge. Like, what? In, in my life, Pacifism. flannel. Pacifism was here before man was ever here. Yeah, yeah. Just, the rocks were soft, and this we is were, how Garfield found it. He was digging, and he found a pacifism. He was like, "I should make this game and around this just card." Do this rock soft <laughs> pacifism. <laughs> Pillar filled box. Uh, it was just as good as the last time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't Got know what those to say. awesome horns. I love the horns. Yeah, I mean, he looks really badass, but I think he's just like a softie. Once you get up to him, you can pet him, you and he's okay. He's like, love on yeah, his he's, just, he's, he's gonna go roll, here, he's gonna go roll go over, bro. gonna scratch his stomach. Yeah, you are, the oxygen, the oxygen stuff. Planar cleansing. <laughs> what? I just, ah! did we just get a cleansing? <laughs> Is that what happened? I probably do need a shower after this. Uh, what? We're, it what we're kills things. We're Prized elephant is the first of the cycle of like will be awesome when Ravnica gets here. Yes, uh, I, I, well, some of them will be awesome. Some of them will. Now this isn't, there's only I think one pushed and that's the green one, we'll talk about it. But these are sort of I the actually way. I was thinking you were gonna go with a different one, so we will discuss. <laughs> uh, but prized elephant, you know, for a four mana four four, when you have a forest that gets trampled, like oh, yeah. value. Oh yeah, I mean, and so I wanna make storylines for all of these creatures. Why do we want to make storylines for a prized because, elephant? Well, think about it. It's a prized elephant just walking around a force on its own. Like, what happened? Why did it get more powerful? Like, it was just caged up in... Uh, why is it wearing that coat? Because he's a prized elephant. He was in a city, but now, like, there was a war or somebody let him go, so he, like, walked into the force, and then he realized his true potential and that he wanted to be yeah. in nature, and he got stronger. You are bawling so hard when you buy a coat like that for your elephant. Well, yeah. What? What? But he must have died for his money, and his elephant ran away. He must have died for his elephant, ladies and gentlemen. Rain of blades. <laughs> it deals one damage to each attacking creature. Get you. All right. I like the card. Yeah. But you know, what did it? What was it like? Marrow shards. Well, marrow shards didn't do much. Well, there were no, 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 no. But I'm just saying. I, I, I'm and, not and, even in talking contrast about. for marrow shards. But I'm just saying, like marrow shards. Well, it, it, it flung pieces of bone at you. Yes, it that did. feels like one damage. Okay. A raining blades from the skies doesn't feel like it only deals one damage. Rain of blades does feel like it should deal a little bit more damage. Maybe it should be like rain of daggers. Rain of dagger. Beep, 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 beep. I can't. Don't make me say dag dagger. You got You gonna do your daggers? Yeah, the daggers. You put them daggers. Yeah, you got the daggers. Dagger. What? I'm well, southern I'm midwestern. Rocks faith mender. Uh, just I, I love this card as a design, but I hate it because it's that card that you play against the guy in limited, and oh your deck's me your deck's mediocre already. But you're gonna beat him, but like you just can't get through, and like you can only deal like four, so you only deal two because he blocks. Uh. And then right before he dies, he's like, 
Angel's Mercy. And you're like, no. no. And then he, draw, he draws a second copy, and I'm assuming oh. that it quadruples. I don't even know. I'm not sure, but I know that five toughness is like infinite and limited. Yes. So good luck killing that guy without <laughs> X for wanting. No. Yeah. Safe Passage. I've always loved this card. I thought this card was just like I sweet think, design. I think it needs an up update. Like there's what planes needs an update. Planeswalkers. Let it protect a planeswalker. What? It, the whole idea is that it doesn't protect a planeswalker, and I think that's kind of confusing actually for a new player. No. What? Well, yeah, a little bit. What's because it, you know, like I think uh, most players assume. I think uh, at least the ones that I played against are just like my planeswalker is protected too. And I mean, like, I remember at a GP a couple years ago, Patrick Chapin actually thought it protected his planeswalkers. Well, there you go. It's a tough card to figure out. Like, well, I mean, you, the way that you read it is you're like, oh, it's going to prevent all the damage, and like in your mind, you just mentally say it prevents mm -hmm. all the damage, but it don't. Just you and the Duder guys, and not not Gideon or not a Johnny or anybody. I want to protect my planeswalkers. Protect my planeswalkers. Sarah Angel, five I, mana, awesome. I really do like the design that they're making these new magic cards. You know, these ones that they've you never seen never before. seen before. Yeah. I haven't, yeah, it hasn't been five, reprinted in five times. Five mana, vigilance, four four. It's, it's pretty interesting. It's yeah, it's uh, it's a magic card. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I love what Wizards is doing with magic. It's new design, original all the time. Not sick of dying to a four four vigilance flyer in every limited format of I all time. I like. My sweet air elementals, Sarah Angels, and I will first pick them glad. Yeah, this is the, this is my most feel bad card ever. I just what? I have died to Sarah Angel so many How times. Do you I'm feel I'm bad sick of because of Sarah Angel. Because it's like deja vu over and over again. It's like Groundhog's Day. Every year just rewinds and I die to this card it's for the summer. Deja vu all over again, I think is the correct way to do that. Whatever. I don't know what I said. I'm just frustrated. You know what frustrated Sarah Avatar. There's a weird little frustrating card. Yeah, but what what's she doing? It's, it's well, first she's an angel, and now she's an avatar. Who is this girl? I I would pick a personality. Wait, is this a new? Is this no? It's the same, same card, card as okay. Prince Hers is they just changed saga. its creature type. I just you know like I said in the show, man. You know, ten years or whatever down the road, seven drops have gotten better. Yeah. And the way that Zach Hill was explaining this is that he got this like as a promo for JSS or something, and that like blew his like young Magic player mind. And I'm like, well, nowadays young Magic players are just like, whoa, Elish Norn, not whoa, Star Star <laughs> for more white mana. And and by the time you get to seven mana, there's like no way you're at twenty anymore. Everyone's hitting each other for a million. All the creatures are so aggressive. I yeah, mean, and everyone's racing bonfires with their creatures. Bonfire, that card. That card's real. Moving on. Sarah Avenger, love this girl. Yes. Totally sweet. It I, was. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Well, you know what? We're both sorry, but what yes. I was going to say is that Wizards thought this card was going to be like a constructed all star when they printed mm -hmm. it. Like, they were convinced, like, Sarah Avenger decks were like the thing in R&D when they were testing Time Spiral. Wow. And then it came out, and it wasn't the best because Cryptic Command existed, and, you know, Orwell's Time Spiral, whatever other awesome stuff from Ravnica and Time Spiral. But, uh, you know, either way, Sarah Avenger was made the top eight extended art foil, and it was going to be like this thing, yeah. and then it wasn't this thing. I wonder, I wonder what it's like to be at Wizards and, like, for a year, you just have this prize, and you just, like let it free, and then it just dies. <laughs> <laughs> because you let your bird fly, and it just like falls. You know, they tried to push it, and they tried to make it yeah. good, and make it excited, and a two mana angel, and all this stuff, and it's just mm, no bird. It yeah. does nothing. And they'll be like, this Delver of Secrets card is going to be cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's cute. Maybe it'll flip fun times. <laughs> and it just ruins standard. Uh, Show of Valor. What would you call this card? I would say that it was target creature gets plus pillar field plus ox until end of turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't stop with the cards. Um, two mana, plus two, plus four. I, I love the crap out of these crazy combat tricks. Well, I love this one especially because, like, Monstrous Growth is back, and mm. you can, like, protect from that, and mm. Exalted, and you need, like, a big old butt to, like, get through all these Exalted attacks. Mm -hmm. Like, it's weird that, like, they've made so many plus two, plus two is plus two, plus zero for strikes, mm. plus two, plus two lifelink, and now they're just, like, plus two, plus four. Like, two this, mana. This is, they tested, Ooh. they they knew that they needed, they wanted, like, a protection spell, to like stop all these huge hits for the one turn. So like, yeah. like this is like hats off that they tested. Like I know that Wizards worked hard on the set mm -hmm. when this card gives plus two, plus four. Wow. Like you know it. Because that's a huge boost. Normally in the past couple sets even, mm -hmm. they've just had plus two, plus zero on first strike. Or they gave green it. Like plus two, plus four on tap or whatever. Like mm -hmm. usually green gets this much of a bonus uh, 
but giving this much for white, like you knew that white needed it and they figured it out. So I think this is going to be a great limited set because I see cards like this. Absolutely. Silvercoat Lion, the boy does some work. No, he... Yes, he does. You remember how much work this guy did in M10? Remember? You would like first pick this guy because I... he was a bear. Mm. He was a 2-2 two -two for two mana and like the beats were the most important thing. I remember you telling me that. Are you talking M12 you mean? Was it M12? Or was it M10? M10? I don't even know if I played I competitive magic in M10. Oh, for God's sake. I don't think I did. What? I started in 2009. Like, competitively? Fine. Regardless. Maybe I played this format. I don't remember. I don't. I remember M11 and I remember M12 Limited, but I don't remember M10 Limited. I don't think I played much of it. Well, whatever. Either way, Silver Coat Lions and Grizzly Bears or Rune Claw Bears, whatever they call them these days, were very important to certain formats. And that's all I'm just trying to make a point here. Is Bear, lion, rar. And tigers? And, and man, lions, and tigers, and bears. Oh my. Lions, and tigers, and bears. Sublime Archangel is next, and this card is I, so weird. I think I, we can just pass over this. It's not the. It's just. I will cut you. <laughs> I will cut you deep. This card is awesome. Wow. They pushed this card. This card has a three on the toughness for a very specific reason because it has to die to Searing Spear or whatever in Yeah, it's it, they now. definitely don't want it to like live through a bunch of this stuff. Like, oh my God. It, it's very good. I mean, ugh, with but a Johnny, like one drop, two a drop. Johnny, think big, go bigger. Well, of course, but one drop, two drop, a Johnny Sublime Archangel, like holy crap. That is really good. That is, <laughs> oh, I'm just going to double strike and friggin' like 14 you. I just I just want a Geist. That just, seems pretty big to me. I just want a Geist to stay trapped into this guy. You would. I, of course I would. I want a Delver. Delver into some, Delver into not Snapcaster. No, no this Delvers, crap just two. Geist. No Delvers. Honor the pure Geist into Sublime Archangel. Like attack you with my 5-5 five, five Geist. Like I don't need mm. Vapor Snake to protect this anymore. Like she's good on her own. Just go Just kill whatever. things. Get you. Yeah, no, this card is very good. I'm scared to actually see like how hard it's gonna hit. Like I, I, I can't imagine, like, I can't actually craft a board where this card doesn't impress me, you know? Like it's super power well, powerful. Unless it's empty. Then she's a 5-4 for four. four, four. And that's still fine. That's, yes. That's it's just like this five four four mana flying exalted and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what, sure. what more do you want out of like a creature? It's it's got it's like just without the exalted and giving all your guys exalted. Like this is I remember these kind of cards good. Well, I mean, I feel like we're hitting the stage where like mythics are a thing. Mythics are a known value. Mythics continue to be made year after year, and Wizards doesn't want the spells to be the all-stars, they want the creatures to be all-stars. Yeah. So basically every year or every set, we have these mythic creatures that are just way, way better than every mm -hmm. other creature that it can be basically compared to in terms of its cost. So I'm gonna go off on a little tangent. You go for it, buddy. And then we'll come back. So so this is, from what, I'll, I'll, I'll limit myself to 90 seconds now. So, I was thinking about this earlier this week, that magic, Creatures are getting so much better and better. And when the spells were good, that's fine because you still had to kill your opponent. But now because the creatures are so good, like if you just like can't deal with one card of your opponents, you're just dead. Because like it hits so hard. Like Sublime Angel, it just like hits for infinite. I, I, like, I mean, you can just go turn to uh, the, I can't remember what its name is, the 1-1 one, one for two colorless that you can pay uh, Frexian mana to get plus one plus zero. Uh, the emulating soul leader? Yeah, emulating soul leader. You can just play Johnny and kill them. They're dead if they don't answer that. They're just <laughs> dead. They're just done. Yes. So I actually want to push. I want people to help an outcry to push the life total up to 24 life. Is it time for a petition? I want a it's petition. It's time for an online petition. You can put your name digitally on the thing. And we'll, we'll, we'll try really hard to change nothing. Yep. But I think we should have 24 life. And Wizards will be like, lol, we just <laughs> finished M14, and we're working on M15, and we'll think about it. Good luck with that. <laughs> but yes, I think life total should be higher. Touch of the Eternal is All right. next. All right, do, do, we, do we make a Benjamin Button reference? Do we, ah. like, Eternal Sons of the Spotless Mind? I don't know. I don't know where I want to go with this card. Eternal Touch of the Spotless Eternal? I don't know. I don't, but Brad Pitt. What? It counts permanence, it makes it your life total, this is cute, it's funny, it's not exactly a Johnny card, it's just kind of like a silly Timmy thing. If I have all of these things, my life total is going to be super crazy huge. 
And then they like kill them all except for that, and you're like, you're at one. And then they cast like a blur rate. Yeah, and you're at one. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sweet. War Falcon. Man. I like this card. This card is sweet. I'm like, I want to know, like, limited seems so much fun. I want to draft the set so bad. Like, Ugh. I don't usually just come to random card stores just to play, like, the limited when I can, but I'm going to just show up just to draft the set because mm. I want to see if I can do my War Falcon deck. <laughs> you know, I want, I want, I want my Ugh. Spider deck. Like, Man, I want War Falcon into turn two Exalted Knight. Like, uh, oh. I, I actually just want to go War Falcon, War Falcon, War Falcon, and then a soldier. Just like, Phew. I don't want to just like sit around and watch my two ones like hanging yeah. out and flying. Yeah, like I, I want think them out there pecking out eyeballs. <laughs> you could do that way too well. <laughs> what? That's, a, that was impressive. I know. It's you my get death screech. You, I don't care. You get the slow clap. All right, one more time. Wait. <laughs> what? Okay. War Falcon. War Priest of Thune. Fine. I had something cool to say about War Falcon. We'll just go on. Back to War Falcon. No, it's, we've, Go gone, on. we've gone too Talk far. Talk about you, little birdie. All right, so I really wanted to be good in, in Constructed. Oh, me too. But I kept like putting deck lists together and thinking about it, and I realized that I'm just working way too hard to make a worse Delver. Like that's actually just what you're doing. Oh God. It's good, but like Delver it's Secrets is easier Delver. and it's bigger, and and it gets trumped by like Lingering Souls really badly. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Johnny Counters, though. I want it to work, though. I really want it to work. I think you will see it in Standard eventually. Like, we'll see, like... Really? Yes, I think you'll see it for a weekend or two, like, in some type of deck, because it's... What is the 2-1 right now in M12? Uh, Elite Vanguard? Elite Vanguard, thank you. Because Elite Vanguard will exist with War Falcon for and, a short period of time. And does Johnny make them better? You know, Johnny, Johnny makes everything better. But that's what I mean. These cards are just, like, one... Power and toughness away from being awesome. Like a three two is so much better than a two one right now. Like a Delver. Three yeah. two. Uh, uh, War, War Priest, Priest of Thune. Thune. Kills Oblivion Rings and Rancors. Yeah, and he's like awesome with his like spiky thing. He, that is a sweet picture. That has always been a sweet picture. I mean this is this is just what you want out of cards, except it is a cleric and Man. not a Warrior or That's a, a serious priest, soldier. man. He's bringing the priestiness. Yeah, he's proud really, with the spikes. He's and the, the priest face. from. Uh, <laughs> I did it again. But he's not even a bird. He doesn't need to be. Yeah, this guy. This club whistles through the air. I'm when I'm stretching. War clamp mastiff. I don't know if we're gonna make it through all of these. Timberwolves I think. needed an update. They yeah, needed to be a hound. But why can't they make him a wolf again? Like wizards, it's I don't like know. they won't give white creatures welkins or wolves anymore. They don't deserve it. Just don't deserve it. Sorry, guys. That's it. All right, that's 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 all we that's got. That's all of the white cards. That's every single one. We discussed all of them. Now we're done. At See? least for today. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was our complete set review for the white cards in thirteen. We are going to be back here tomorrow for the blue cards. Join us then. I'll, I'll be here. You gonna be here? Yeah, I'll I be here. I will be here. We'll see you next time. like the fatties.